Hello, hello, my friends. So I do hope that you're doing great and you're having an awesome day. So today I just want to show you a simple trick. I've been asked so many times, how can you be able to draw? Uh, let's say you have like this wall from here. You can see this wall is high. So you want to draw a wall that will be in slanting, a wall that will slant at the same angle as the roof pitch but the wall will be higher than uh, the roof i'm not good at explaining but let me show you what i want to do today so earlier on in my previous tutorial i was saying that i had left my mouse in 2022 but fortunately i got a lucky subscriber who hooked me up with a new a new a new mouse yeah so we have a new mouse in 2023 so yeah so to do this uh technically you want to draw a wall here so that but we want this wall you see the way our wall is you want our wall to be above this roof and to be in a slanting manner so i'm going to the ground floor and what i want to do is to draw any line so i go to the line tool i want to use the shell tool so since my wall is i think my wall is 200 mm yeah so let me draw a very tiny rectangle here which will be 250 and tab i say 45 okay very tiny 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 then i go to design and i'm going to the shell tool so i want to use the shell tool to trim that top part so i click on this option and i hold the space bar you select and you click it says 3000 for now just say okay you will reduce this one later so has no issue won't affect anything then if i go to 3d i will be able to see what i have just drawn which is here so i want to rotate it so that it comes at this location by delicious location yes so to rotate it i think the easiest is from this direction which so with a shell a shell a shell tool the shell tool you can be able to edit it in elevations so i'm going to the um, waist elevation and i want to rotate it so i click on it Control e and from this point like this I do the rotation rotation then we control d so i'm just trying to drag it to the point where i want it to be you can either do this on the floor plan or i mean on the ground floor plan or you can do it from the elevation as well just flew go with your own flow as you wish man as you wish so for now let me place it here so that i rotate it to be to follow my roof man it has disappeared again what have i done now did i delete it oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god what did i do let me do ctrl z oh i see i see i see why it disappeared i see I see i see oh i know let me let me do it here okay it will disappear then it does not disappear this time then control e click here but it will disappear so i'm rotating it control e from the bottom i want to bring it to here that way i am sure that it will follow the roof angle then control d i can drag it so we want it to be aha uh -huh. let me drag it here for now We want it to follow i think it will be at this length but i want to lengthen it for first so i click on this node like and like i said you can be able to edit it in elevation then i click on this so that i can lengthen it to somewhere there just a little longer than now uh, maybe my roof then now i mean my wall i press ctrl d and i want to move it upwards Okay, let's place it here. 
but then you don't have to take it all the way you can this wall ends here if i'm not wrong i think it it will terminate at this point so now i can click on this wall and drag it i mean make it to be stretch it i mean stretch the height to any point beyond to make sure that it is beyond this yeah so it could be to this point like that then uh, i go to 3d okay so now i have to bring this one to be to be on that wall so i go to one story where i can be able to see this uh how do we call it shell then i'm dragging it i'm dragging it from the center and i think my walls begins here so it should be here that's where my wall is right or i have so i have some issue with my wall why did my wall behave in this manner i don't know i don't know i don't know so i don't know why my wall is behaving in this manner it looks like more looks like we have two walls but i thought i only have one 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 wall but that's not what i'm here to show you anyways let me just continue so for now i click on this i click on this and i say trim as you 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 right then you, you right click then you go to connect and trim then you say yeah oh yeah so yeah there you have it so now you can make your shell to be the same texture as your wall that way it becomes easier when you go to do visualization or if you want you can change its texture it all depends with you man not what with uh, with you and what maybe you want to do you can you can either make it a different color or you could I make it to be the same color so here it's it's causing some some issues so i'm going to lengthen it to here so that it won't cause those problem problems okay yeah then again of course you can you can just use the same uh, let me change the texture first i can either do any other like white then it it can become like a coping you know the coping that you place concrete coping that you place on top of a wall to affect it from uh, to prevent to to save it from so that it, it won't be affected by rain or water so yeah it can do that function you can copy it and place it on on top of the other wall it's just pretty simple remember it was flat and we are the one who did rotate it so i could for for instance click here then control e and rotate it this way yeah? i mean i'm rotating a copy then i can control d to let's say this point yeah? then i can go to the store i want to try and see if i'm able to see it uh this here it is i click on it control e and i can pick it from here and do the rotation then i can drag it to say there then maybe i can and i can make it longer now to go all the way to this other end yeah now I can use it to trim the other wall if I want to. But of course you see the intersection is not that nice so you can try to play with it a little to make the intersection to be better. Like to make the intersection better you just have to lower it a little and do some editing at the end. So you can try to or I can just shorten this wall maybe say 1450 instead of trimming it 1450 I could do 14 I could do 1475 for instance but of course trimming it is better because now it will be guided by 
you are you are copying yeah? then for this other end you just copy this and you place it the other end but for now i did want this video to be as short as possible and it's now longer my videos are always longer so let me end it here i don't like this intersection man it's, uh, i don't feel it at all <laughs>